What? What I'm seeing a lot, some of you guys really got the small things I want to work on. Concentrate on coming through here so you come back to that true boxer stance. If you feel yourself throwing your jab and you got to settle back in, you didn't come back to it. You threw yourself off and you came back in. Okay? When this punch comes home, you should already be in your stance. That's, that's a way to police yourself. You got me? That's, that's the way fighters get better. If, I, if you're working and you realize, oh, I did that wrong, and you know how to fix it, that's better than having to depend on someone to watch you. That's how fighters continuously progress, by knowing how to police yourself. So when you throw that jab, you should be able to come, throw the jab, and come right back. And you know that you don't have to shift back into it. You should be right back into your two boxer stance. Okay? That's a way you can police yourself. Another thing is if you throw a one-two, you have to adjust to throw the two. If you don't, come back to your Chewbacca stance. Or you're throwing the two like this. Oh yeah. Exactly, that's what I want. See how when you turn, you step in with your hip. Throw it. See that? How he, when he throws it in with his hip, that's the, that's the stance that you want. That's, that's the form that you want. So it'll come back here. Just make sure to be disciplined with that right hand and leave it here. And don't put it in your breast pocket. Okay? A lot of guys sit and put them in their pockets when they shoot. They did this. Okay? That's also called the bow and arrow effect. When you see guys shoot, shoot the jab and they do this. Because once a guy times that jab and you got your hand down here, all he's going to do is slip it. You have no defense on this side. You're not going to recover from that because you're too busy trying to follow through with that jab. You're depending on that power, you're ready to try to hurt us, and he's using that against you. Okay? So now, bear up again, we're going to do the one, two. I want you to throw the one and come back here. Same, same form. Okay? Don't throw it so fast that you throw yourself off. Okay? The form is what, where you get your speed. Getting the form down is where you're going to get your speed. We're going to speed this up in a little bit. I just want to get everybody on the basics. One. They step in, they throw it right form here, and they throw the two here. The step that they miss is that when you push off to throw the jab, in order to, when the guy moves back and you have to make up that distance, you push off on the jab in your back foot and you bring it home, maintaining the true boxer stance. Because if I, if I see that you're not going to maintain your true boxer stance, I'm going to be here all day. And you're going to do this to keep up. You're gonna stretch yourself out. And, and that's, if, that's the biggest mistake a lot of people make. You focus so much on the target, focus so much on your opponent, that you lose sight of what you're doing. Focus on your game. You understand me? That's, that's, how, you, that's how you become a better fighter, that's how you become a more dangerous opponent. You focus on what you do. If I'm sitting here watching a guy that I'm going to fight and I'm watching him punch holes in heavy bags and I'm watching him knock guys' heads off, am I going to go in there and fight to his game? Or do I focus on my game? I focus on what I'm going to do and I'll eliminate all that piece. That looked great against the other fighters. What he did looked great against the other fighters. If I focus on what I do, it doesn't happen. You understand me? So that's why when, when it comes to footwork, when you push forward, Push off with your rear foot, come home. When you go back, you push off with your lead foot, and it comes home. You go to the right and to the left, okay? Rotating here, come right back into the boxer's foot. Everything, every time one foot moves, the other foot should move. You should never have a movement separate. You should always have one foot moves, the other foot moves. Half steps. Everything is in the half steps. Because it's easy to counter a guy who takes full steps. Because he commits. Once you take this step here, you've committed. If I step between you as you take that full step, you have to go back one way or the other. 
You have to gather yourself before you can do anything. You're dead in the water. You take the half step, this guy comes, you can still punch. You can still defend yourself. From here, off the half step. Once you start taking full steps, you hinder yourself. You leave yourself open, you become more vulnerable. So everything in boxing is a half step. If you see the distance you want to cover, and it's longer than your half step, then you take two half steps. It's just, I mean, you gotta, you gotta have to focus in and, and teach yourself and train yourself to be that way, okay? That also allows you to where if you wanna change your stance and get into a kick, or if you wanna shoot, then you're there. From your true, from your true boxing stance, you can, you can actually make that transition very easily. To open up and kick, to shoot, or even to sprawl, if you feel. Okay? So that's why I'm saying I'm not going to hinder anything that you guys already do. I'm not going to change your stance so much. I'm not going to change your style and your form so much that you can't do what you love to do and what's comfortable for you. Okay? So uh, right now, we're going to throw. Uh, let's pair back up. This time I want you to throw the one, two. I want you to push off. Uh, as the catcher, I want you to give him, a give him a little distance. Don't stand here. Come back here a little bit. Okay? Give him the one, two. Put, yeah, step back in. One, two. Bring that foot in. Did you see what he was doing? Everybody see what was happening here? Did you feel it? Push off with your rear foot and bring it home. One, two. That's it. One, two. One, two. One, two. All right, so now as the catcher, I want you to kind of step off. Step off just a little bit. Start back here. Okay? You hit. One, two. You get back up. Start off again. Same spot. Got me? So that's what you want to work on. Get your feet and your hands and move together. I, I want you guys to, even after this, this little class, after this camp, I want you guys to really work on what I just showed you as far as moving your feet together. Okay? The one, two is very important because what a lot of guys do is they stretch themselves out or they, or some of these guys, I've worked with you when I walked around, what they were doing was they were shortening it, throwing it in here. What that does is it limits your offense, okay? When you see guys who throw a lot of like five, six, seven punch combinations, if you ever pull back and watch them do it, their feet are moving the whole time. And they're coming back to that true boxer stance, every, every punch. Because if they don't, they have this. And then they have to stop and start over. And then they have this. But when they're able to move around from here, they're going to be moving together the whole time. And you have your defense and your offense from this stance all day. You can develop balance, a balanced stance that you can fight from and come back to, you're going to be a lot more dangerous opponent. No matter what you're doing. Whether it's Muay Thai, whether it's grappling, jiu-jitsu, whatever. You are more balanced. You are from the, you're, you're at the start the whole time. Your start is here. If you can stand here and throw your punch, then if you can go here and come back to the start, you can continue to just keep starting. And it becomes continuous. The minute you leave that start and come here, now you're kind of dead in the water. You have to find your start again. Okay? So that, that means you're starting and stopping instead of being progressive, continuous. You want to develop your style before you are continuous. So that way you have your, your opponent the whole time having to react to what you're doing. If I have my opponent reacting to me, he's not initiating his offense. 